So I promise I have nothing on there, but they're very rosy. So get going. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you my MAC lipstick collection. I do have quite a few of lipsticks. I'm also going to go through the lip liners, perhaps in a part two, just depending on how long this video is. But I'm going to have all the product information down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up as well. And let me know if you have any feedback or questions down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get going with the lipstick swatches. I'm going to get started with my limited edition lipsticks just because some of these may not be available or um, you might be able to get them online maybe like on ebay or something um, but they are still part of my collection nonetheless and i do like these colors so i'm going to start with those i'm going to start with a mini lipstick collection this one was from last year i think like the mac um, collection from last year this first one is called a star in your name This next one is called Jar of Stars. This one is Once Upon a Star. This next one is the um, Miley Cyrus Viva Glam. So these next two lipsticks are from the Selena Quintanilla collection with MAC Cosmetics. So I'm going to do La Reina first. And it has this beautiful rose embossing there. But there it is. Moving on to this next one, it is my last of my two Selena lipsticks. This is Selena Vive. Again, also has that rose embossing at the front. So these are again all of my limited edition lipsticks for the permanent lipsticks i'm gonna do by finish and i'm gonna start with the luster this first one i have is called freckle tone if your lips do have a little bit of more imperfections this is a formula that's really going to emphasize that so it might be something that you might want to stay away from again this is the luster formula and this is in the shade freckle tone This next one is called Sea Sheer. This one I actually is one of my newest ones. Sea Sheer, and again, this is the luster formula, so it's gonna be more of a wash of color. So one thing I didn't mention about the luster formula is that it's very comfortable to wear. So if your lips are sensitive, it is a good formula to opt for. The next formula that I'm going to be talking about is the amplified finish. Again, I only have two. The very first one that I'm going to share is called Vegas Volt. This is more of a coral color. Next one is called Brick the Ice and it's a deeper berry color. Okay, so this next one is the only satin finish lipstick that I have. And the shade I have it in is Twig. It's more like a matte raisin. And this is one of my favorite go-tos for fall. So again, this is Twig. So the next is the formula that I have the most of. So this is the matte finish and I have five. So I'm going to start with is a matte nude. This is called Honey Love. It does have a number. It says 605 Honey Love. This reminds me a lot of Kim KW by Charlotte Tilbury. Just a little bit more wearable.
The next one I have is called a Velvet Teddy in a matte finish again. The next one is Russian Red, again a matte formula. The next one is Antique Velvet. This is a very deep color. Definitely a lipstick that I would recommend you wearing a lip liner with as it does kind of bleed. I actually don't even have a lip line from swatching all of these, but you know, just to get an even more pretty application with the lip liner is how I recommend you using it. Again, Antique Velvets. Right, so we've made it to the very last lipstick that I have and this one is Stone, again a matte formula and I have it swatched right there. Very awkward. Uh, my memory card is almost giving out on me so hopefully we can show you this one. So here is Stone. All right, you guys, so that is all my MAC lipstick collection. My memory card is gonna give out on me, so I'm gonna do the lip liners in a different video. If you've stayed so far, I hope you give me a thumbs up and that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.